What's up, Marvel fans? This is Stan Series, and in today's video, we'll be going for some Marvel news. We are, yes, I am back doing a Marvel news video. Oh, it's been ages since I've done one of these. I mean, obviously, the what's been going on this year, you know, with the COVID, and obviously, we're not getting much news. I mean, we've had some news from Marvel, but not like a total a lot, like um, set photos or you know stuff like that. But also, I mean, I'd have, and then I did take breaks. Well, I did took a break from doing these videos because, I mean, like I said, with the COVID was going around, I did still see some news, but I just never got around to really make a video on it because, because really my whole point when I do my videos, I'm like, oh, if I hear these news coming out in the three days, I'll put them into one video. But obviously, um, because of, like I say, what's been going on this year, well, to me, it, to me, how I've seen it this year, it's like, oh, it hasn't been like that every day. Like, oh. News like that every day for Marvel, but but now I'm back after the what's been going on, which will be the main topic to go on today. This is why I've come to make a video of it, because this is pretty big. But it's just a couple of things I want to just get out of the way, you know, obviously talk off from the obviously from Marvel before we start the biggest topic. Now, first off, obviously days ago, that yeah, days ago they cast uh, Miss Marvel. An actress I've never heard of, even um, I've heard she's like a news actress around. That's what I've heard. Now, her name is, um, well, I would have to spell it out because I can't even say it. Um, I-M-A-N, that's her first name. Then her last name is uh, V-E-L-L-A-N-I. Like I said, I don't know. I'm, um, she's a new actress and I've had a look at her. Like, what does she look like? And she looks like the part, I mean... She looks like she could. She looks like the actual counterpart of Miss Marvel from the comics. She actually's got that look, and also as well as the age. I think they've gone for the white age because I've heard. I think she's fifteen. I believe the actress or fourteen. Um, I mean, uh, let's have a look here. Um, oh no! I, oh, I'll take it back. No, no, no! I'll take it back. She should be uh, eighteen or nineteen. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, from the picture, I thought she looked a bit younger, like around Miss Marvel's age, but. No, I mean, that's a pretty cool thing for the actress, and I have seen some, well, two people, like Mark Wolfero and one of the actors from The Eternal saying about, you know, welcome to the Marvel family and congratulations to getting the world. So that's pretty nice that some Marvel actors are getting out saying congratulations and now you've joined the Marvel family. And I'm really looking forward to that, really. I'm going to look, I'll look, well, I mean, once we get our first trailer and all that, that gives me, and I could go like, hmm. I like her as Miss Marvel, but for now, I think she's got potential to, to, to give us a good, you know, a version, a live action version of her. So there's that one. Now, our next one is an Eternals update. Now, obviously, we heard the news that um, not long ago saying about it got delayed to next November, which is a shame. It had to happen, but obviously, we got to really. I mean, Corbin ain't gone away anytime soon. But in this one, they have released a link, well, a picture of a second figure. Now, the first figure that came out way back was for Ajax, if I'm correct saying the character's name. Now, the second character figure they've showed off is a, uh, a Deviant. And this one is a K-O-R. Now, he was never spoke of saying he's in the film, but from this now, that's confirmed he's in the film. And from the looks of it, I've looked him up just when I, when I just found this. And I looked up, he's a villain. And he's like the a warlord of the Deviant. So, yes. So, we got our Deviant villain. So, he must be the main villain of the film. And, whoa. I mean, he's got a weird look. I mean, like a monstrous look. And I looked at his comic book counterpart. And he's he ain't got that comic book counterpart. This one here is like, whoa. Completely different to what he looks like in the comics. And he fits in with the Deviants, because obviously Deviants, um, they're like monstrous creatures. And I thought that was a bit strange, because I thought... Now, I might be wrong on it, but I thought Marvel Studios, like Kevin Feige or Marvel Studios, came out saying that the Deviants were not going to look like monsters in the movie universe. They were just... They were actually going to look like human as well. Or they were going to have a different look, but... That tells you there, they're going to be like what they look like in the comics. I mean, I did look up again as well, like, do all the Deviants look like monsters, but... Most of them do. I mean, one looks like, like a human with, a, with his normal human skin. And another one, 
And then he's got like his normal human size, but obviously his whole skin's like like a light grey is colour. So, but but like I said, looks like Aldivians will have the monsters look. Obviously, not all of them. I mean, some obviously um, whenever deviant characters are going there. I mean, if it's if it's the what like what. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that, what I'm trying to say, a character, a deviant character who might who has a monstrous look in the comics, if they any time soon announce another deviant, and if he's if he's got a monster look, then I'm hoping he has his monster look, obviously in the film as well. There's that one. Then let's get into this big one that's been going on around lately. Jay James, oh, I'm sorry, I need to say his name. James Fox. I am hearing that he is coming back, and it sounds like it's confirmed as well. Yeah, confirmed. That he's coming back as Electro. Now, now when I first heard this, I was like, wait, but he's not from the MCU. He's Electro, he's from the Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I was like, how is this going to happen? And then later on, I started thinking, wait a minute, it's the Spider-Verse happening. It's the third Spider-Man film, the Spider-Verse film, because... I was like, that's a that's a one way to explain it. And I'm pretty surprised about that, you know, hearing that he's coming back to play his character. But also I did realise as well, like, I mean, if they got the actor back to play James Joe James's, obviously the one who pla- the actor who played him in the only Tony Maguire's one and then got him back for the end cut scene of Far For Harm, the Tom Holland's one, I was like, then that means there's no <clears throat> excuse me. That sounded like, oh, that means they can get all actors, they can get actors who played that character before from another universe and get them to play the character again, but a different version, like an MCU version. Now, that's what I was going on with him. I was saying, like, is he playing the Tasman, well, Tasman's um, Electro's version, like he played in the Amazing Spider-Man 2's version, or is he playing a different Electro from the MCU? Like, he, like uh, he's the same character, but obviously his personality might be different because... Obviously, in the Tasman one, he was like a goofy, and he was like a big fan of Spider Man, and and the reason he became a villain because obviously he got the warm idea about him, about Spider Man, like he thought, oh, Spider Man betrayed him, and or lied to him, but it, but then I thought if he's playing like an MCU version, he might be different. He might be more like cool, uh, you know, not a goofy, goofy, you know. But I think it does sound like it could be that because there was a post. On his um, Instagram, same is well. Sad has been deleted now because I think he must have made a mistake. Like he, I don't think the studio wanted him to post this. There was a picture of his electro face and like a bit like a big door opening, like a, a Spider Verse portal opening, and you see three different Spider Mans. Like you see, obviously Tom Holland's, um, Tony Maguire one, and a Andrew Garfield. Well, you couldn't see the face, but you saw the back of them, and it looked like it was them. And on these um, words, he said about he's coming back as Electro, and he says about, I'm not coming back as Blue this time. So, that also told me that, wait, so you're telling us that you're playing Electro, but you're playing an MCU version of Electro, who didn't, who got his powers, but didn't become full on Blue. But then also as well, like I said, if it's going to be a, mo- a Spider-Verse film, I'm like, wait, but you would have to come back as your Blue one then, if you're... Obviously, this is dealing with the multiverse, well, the Spider-Verse, which is a uh, so it's a bit strange, and I'm like, I mean, which which is true. I mean, is he is he actually playing a new version? Who uh, obviously an MCU version who's all who's been well who's always been born in the MCU, and obviously he obviously when he gets his electric powers, he he doesn't turn blue. I mean, if that's true, then that means we got to see his yellow and green costume. Um, mass pod with the lightning bolts. Uh, mm, I mean, you, I couldn't see that you could get away with that in live action, but the one way they could get away with is how the um, how the uh, the um, the Marvel Spider Man game version did it. Like when he had like the burn marks of the electric, or, like his helmet on his um, on his face, or make it like a tap, or do it like a, as a tattoo. I mean, that's a different way to do it, or like a. Well, maybe like a tattoo, but like he created it by himself, like using electric. I mean, possible way uh, that could happen. But that would be possible. I would love to see a costume like that. I mean, so far, I mean, Vulture and Mysterio, they sort of have their comic book counterpart uniforms. So, I mean, if Electro, I mean, if Electro got that, I'll be like, 
yes, Marvel's giving us an actual comic book look. But I, I don't know what else to say about this, but that's all I could really say. So, and for the, um, sp the if, if about the Spider-Man 3, I mean, if it is going to be a Spider-Verse film, I mean, wow, that's going to be cool. So we're actually finally getting a live-action version of it. And who knows? <laughs> I have thought of what the title would be now. I mean, they did say the word home would be in it, but I'm just going to say this title. Now, you don't have to be like, oh, no, they ain't going to call it that. But if you have a better, tit a better title of the word home, just let me know down in the, description, in the comments below. But i got a feeling that this could be called Spider-Man Home of the S Spider-Verse. I'm just saying it right now, because if this is going to be a Spider-Verse film... I could see it being called that. That's all I could say. And also, that kind of falls away that, oh, there's going to be a court, you know, in the um, film. Like, oh, Spider-Man needs a lawyer and all that. I mean, I mean, maybe that could be still be part of the film, but maybe it's not like a, like the whole film. And I think that's all I've got to say for this, guys. I, I don't think I've missed anything out from this, uh, from, the, from these news. Uh, you can let me know if there was something I've missed and... Um, well, and then I'll discuss it with you down... Well, actually, I won't really, but just let me know anyway. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Just let me know if I have missed anything. Uh, if you want to um, see these articles for yourself, well, the article for the... Um, obviously, the uh, figure, I will leave that one down in the, in the link down in the description below. Also, for the... Um, I'll try to find some link. Obviously, links of the um, news for the... Um, you know, for the Electro one. Well, I might or might not, so you'll just have to see when you uh, on, when you jump to this video. Also, um, if you do have your thoughts about all this news, put your comments down below. What do you think? I mean, what do you think of the um, figure of the um, of that Deviant for the Eternals? Do you think he looks cool? Do you like that he's going to have his monster look, like a Deviant monster look like they have in the comics? Uh, and also for the electro electro news, like what do you think of that one? And do you think the third film is a Spider Verse film? Let, put those down in the comments down below. We'll discuss about it. Also, give this video a thumbs up and um, share this out to your friends. So if they want to watch some different YouTuber for once, show them one of my videos. And if they like it, they can subscribe to the channel. And if you are new to this channel, this is what I do: I do the Marvel and Transformers cinematic cinematic universe news that goes with the trailers, Super Bowl TV spots. Um, I always say clips, but I might not never, but I might not do one. But I just throwing it out there. And then spoiler reviews. The spoiler reviews I mainly touch upon the um, oh, excuse me, uh, the film side of the both the Transformers and Marvel. Well, you know what I mean. Um, and then the um, trailers and obviously um, a clip. I I may do a non spoiler one, you know. Because I, I always go like, I don't want to be spoiled too much for the a film. But with the spoiler reviews, I've said I might do the Disney Plus ones. You know, do started doing spoiler reviews for those ones. But I haven't really made my decision yet. But before the one division comes on, uh, then I'll start thinking about it. And last but not least, if you see me last more video, you can click here. My channel. Make sure you click the bell. It's going to be now when my new videos are up. And here, this is my last Transformers video. I've really got to try and get a new Transformers film, obviously, news video on there. But, obviously, there hasn't been a lot lately. And that's all I can say, guys. So, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Peace.